First, the governor ordered state schools not to comply with new rules on Title IX that were coming from the White House. Well, now the attorney general is suing to keep those rules from ever getting written in the first place. Those rules mandating equal access are more than 50 years old, but with the Biden administration saying those rules should apply to trans men and women, not just women, a new legal fight is here. TH311's Rebecca Brown reports on the latest legal clash. We've seen state after state file lawsuit against the Joe Biden administration for its recent revisions to Title IX, and now Arkansas is joining that fight. Tuesday morning, Arkansas Attorney General Tim Griffin, alongside with Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey, announced a lawsuit against the United States Department of Education for the new interpretation of Title IX. This rule change is a welcome mat for more of that unacceptable behavior. This is going to increase it. This federal statute has protected women's rights. President Biden is perverting the plain text of the statute in favor of a radical transgender ideology. This lawsuit comes less than a week after Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders signed an executive order saying Arkansas will not comply with these changes. Title IX was created to protect women, but Biden's Title IX attempts to erase women completely. The new rule broadens the definition of sex discrimination to include those who don't identify biologically as a male or female to participate in women's sports. An Arkansas high school athlete joined the officials on Tuesday to share her concerns with the changes. I don't want any girl to lose her right to a fair playing field or her right to use a safe place to change. Griffin echoed the governor's argument that the new rule violates the Constitution. And when asked for examples happening here in Arkansas, he said he's not going to wait for one. The idea that this isn't going to happen here because it hadn't happened yet, I don't buy it. And I don't think anybody else buys it. Um, so I love the timing of this. I think we're moving quickly uh, and uh, we're trying to preempt and hopefully we can we can get this stopped uh, before it starts. In Little Rock, Rebecca Brown, THV 11 News. The ACLU released a statement following today's announcement saying in part, this lawsuit misrepresents the necessary changes which ensure educational equity regardless of gender identity and strengthens protections for all students by fostering inclusivity.